great to be with you all in this episode of The Athlete's Mind. Just a big thank you to our sponsor for this episode, Elite Motion Strength and Conditioning. Whether you're an athlete or someone looking to improve your performance in your sport, go and check them out. They're great at what they do. Link will be down below to everything, all of their services. Check them out. And also follow us on Instagram and our socials so you don't miss any future episodes or updates. Enjoy the episode. All right, welcome back everyone to the Athlete's Mind podcast. Really pumped for this episode because a lot of you guys have been asking where the podcast episode with the athletes have been. Uh, We've been a little busy with the schedule lately, been getting a lot of documentary episodes out. Um, Go and check out our recent one with Malachi Champion. Um, Feedback has been great from that, from you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Um, We're actually back in the original studio. It's been like four months since we've been back in here, so... It's really, really good and sort of continuing the theme off the doco with the Subi players and, you know, I love doing these Colts Waffle players. So really big thank you to Wes Wally for joining us on the podcast today. Um, Subiaco Ford and State 18's player. Um, how are you today, mate? Yeah, I'm going good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Thanks for taking the time. Um, now, we start every podcast episode <laughs> the same, sort of getting a bit of a background of where your journey started. So how did you actually get into footy? Did it start from a young age or a bit later? Um... Well, my whole family has been in the footy, especially my dad, pop, grandpa, like, yeah, all that. So, just when I was younger, just always had a footy in my hand. So, it was kind of like naturally yeah, just natural, passed down. Yeah, yeah. It's like in my blood. And were there any other sports that you tried or like even play currently? Uh, no, nah, I, I was only footy at the moment, but there was times where I played basketball mm. every Thursday night, bit of touch rugby with my cousins, but nice. mostly footy, yeah. And would you say like basketball i know it would have just been for fun i'm guessing but basketball and that touch rugby has that any skills that you've learned from that that you've been able to apply to footy kind of yeah probably touch rugby yeah just a bit of stepping you know yeah, just the yeah, fast yeah. feet i feel like it's impacted my game a lot with the explosiveness and everything like that yeah it, it, it's interesting with <laughs> rugby um i know a guy i've interviewed on here he actually rugby background and now he plays for east perth um in the reserves team and yeah, it's, in- it's interesting, like you can just tell like that he's got a bit of a rugby background with the quick feet and everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, when you started footy, did you kind of expect, you know, at the point you're at now, you're playing a high level, you're playing Colts, you're in the state team. Did you expect to achieve some of those things or was it always like, oh, I just want to have a bit of fun? Yeah, it was mostly just having fun, really. Mm-hmm. Just going with the flow. But yeah, just mostly just wanting to play footy. To yeah, and then those achievements just, yeah, started, just started coming on. Yeah. Yeah, and at, at what point would you consider like footy actually started to become like quite serious for you? Was it this year or was it maybe a, a bit earlier? To be honest, I reckon it was back in community. I think I got my second best and fairest of the whole division. Mm. Then I got club champion at my club for the whole club. And I felt like, you know, my family was all like proud of me. So I was like, yeah, I feel like it's time to take it serious. Yeah. Nice, nice. And yeah, I've played for a few footy clubs in, you know, the junior clubs. So you started with Kingsway, where you spent most of your junior footy days. And then you moved to Sterling, where you're only there for a short time. And then you found yourself at Warwick Greenwood. Was it hard to adapt to new teams constantly, like moving around, kind of? Um, no, nah, not really. They all welcome me with open arms. And so, yeah, I feel like. It was a very comfortable entrance into the teams, mm. which, yeah, helped me get into the team a lot easier. Nice. And have you always played forward for the, all these teams? Um, nah, mostly midfield. I was When I got to Warwick Greenwood, I was rucking. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. mostly I would, like, rotate into the forward line. Yeah. But, yeah, mostly mid to forward. How would you find the ruck? You find I, the ruck? I loved it. Just yeah. loved tapping it to myself, you yeah. know. <laughs> nice, bro. And um, did you have, like, any other teammates kind of move with you from these teams because you did move around quite a bit was it like constantly having to meet new people and new teammates or did you have people move with you? i mean i had this one guy um levi morgan yep. he's grew up with me my whole life come from kingsway mm. and then yeah went back met each other at Warwick Green. so yeah i've always had him same as um my cousin Dwayne Ryder, he's in my Colts team as well. Nice. Yeah, he's in been playing White Green or yeah, so nice. And, and were there any premiership wins you had with those junior yeah. clubs? Yeah, um I think it was year seven, won it. Yeah, won best on ground as well. Nice, nice. Yeah, eight, I think we got um took out in the semis. 
yeah year nine came back and won it yeah yeah well it's good because a lot of people you know kind of go through their whole like footy career without even playing in a grand final let alone winning one so that that, that is good even if it was year seven i'm sure that's something that's quite memorable for you um now we're going to more recent stuff with subiaco now you started <laughs> with the futures in 2023 yep. and now you've played all of this season in the colts how was your experience being down at the club and you know playing a really high level of footy oh yeah it's a bit different but i'm loving every second of it you know it's just meeting all these talented boys just giving them just everything you know about the game it's it's really exciting yeah yeah and it, how how was it like starting off in the futures was it a bit of like a shock at like the level between you know your, your junior and then going to like a, a futures level yeah 100 percent. it was a lot different but i felt like once I was in it, you know, all of my eyes was on the prize, really. Yeah. Start finding the rhythm, yeah. kind of, yeah. And now, Subiaco Alliance Colts, you have started off with the team this is. You have started off with a, st- a tough loss at the start of the season against Perth. Not an easy team to beat because, you know, last season, I think they went majority of last season undefeated. Um, and then, however, you guys have won the last two games. A really close win against East Frio and then a blowout win against South Frio. Do you feel like the team is starting to find its rhythm and its chemistry a little bit as you go? I feel like, yeah, we are. We're getting a lot more um, country boys in and out and stuff like that. But I feel like it's good, like, rotations on. I feel like the mids, the forwards, backs, we're all finding each other. Good mm. chemistry has been building out lately, a lot lately. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like it's a lot better. Yeah, I mean, well, speaking <laughs> of that South Rio game, that the massive performance from you, four goals in the first quarter, um, would you say that has kind of boosted your confidence moving forward, not only with Subiaco, but even with, you know, State approaching and you played in that 21s game, obviously, was having that big game, it did it boost your confidence? 100%, yeah, it felt like could do anything at that point in time yeah fortunately i didn't kick anymore but you know that's all right yeah <laughs> still but, four goals four goals you take yeah it. um now with, with subiaco you guys actually do have a pretty young team um i'm pretty sure compared to some of the other waffle teams are there quite a lot of 07s in the Subi yeah. team there are compared i think we had eight debut deb- debutons in the first round wow. including myself yeah geez yeah that's a lot yeah interesting i think it's because um well from what i know there's a few resis boys that might have um, stopped and league boys and then a lot of the Colts were kind of forced up they were a bit older and then that's why you had a lot of 07s um, come in now you were named in the state 18 squad was that something you were surprised about considering you are a bottom major um, a little bit yeah but I've always wanted to make 18s because mm. last year I didn't get the opportunity to play 16s due to my injury so I was hoping to get selected for 18s yeah so yeah that was a good achievement and how was the feeling once you got told that you were you were in oh I was I think I was just watching TikTok on my bed <laughs> mum and dad just jumped on me on my bed so yeah <laughs> love that that's great um I mean was that I mean you did say you wanted to make 18s obviously but was that kind of like one of your top priorities going into this year or was it kind of like oh just focus on Subiaco and maybe next year I can focus on that um it was one of them but it was just finding my, myself at Subiaco yeah like being one of the key forwards and just like later on in the nice and how was the game against the 21s you know playing against like bigger bodies and really your first taste of that level of footy oh yeah it was real hard I think I had one of the resis or league Subiaco boys on me yeah so, no yeah, easy he didn't give me a good time so but yeah it was pretty fun <laughs> yeah I mean you guys got really close there at the end um but, you know, hopefully, yeah, I'm sure you guys, it's a big learning experience for you and the team. Um, now, we always like to ask, you know, the people we interview on here, kind of who they look up to in the AFL or, the, you know, higher level athletes. Who are some players that you try and model your game after or, you know, look up to? Definitely Cyril. Yeah. A um, bit of shy, shy as well. Mm. I can't go past Andrew McLeod as well. Yeah. He's just a gun, you know, I've always looked up to him. Yeah, got some good um, ones in there, nice. Um, what, what what team do you support in AFL? Um, Eagles in Richmond. Yeah. Nice. Oh, did you go for two? Why was yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, mum's Eagles, dad's Richmond. You know, when they're yeah. both first and you just, I'll just go for the team who wins. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so do you like him equally? Like, be honest, yeah, yeah. Like I like him equally? Yeah, especially when um, Kennedy was playing. You know, oh, yeah, what, yeah. Done. Yeah, he's a freak, yeah. Um, so what does a usual week schedule look like? for you with training from Monday to Sunday. Obviously, you're still in school. Um, footy's really full on. You've got club, you've got Subi, you've got states. What does a usual week, Monday to Sunday, like how often do you usually train in a week? So if um, if we don't have a state game, I would train Monday for state, which would just be a light session, a bit of revision, stuff like that. Tuesday would be state. And then I would go to Subiaco 
and like it's optional for extra touch but you're not like we do a game sim at the end mm-hmm. you're not allowed to do that um thursday if i'm playing colts i would train fully there yeah and then yeah friday and saturday game day mm-hmm. so. so it's really full on do you do you find it hard to like balance footy with school Nah, I'm loving yeah. it really. Loving yeah. it, that's good. Just that's always good. remembering off school, I got training or you know, yeah. it gives you something to look forward. Yeah, it to. gives you something to look forward to. Yeah. Um, now we'll go on to some of our personal and mental questions. We always like to kind of finish our episodes with these. Um, the first one we have for you is, you know, this is a bit of a tricky question, but with people you look up to for advice, who is your biggest supporter? You'd say. I'm sure there's a long list. If you want to name a few, but if you could narrow it down to a couple, who would you say would be? I can't go past mum and dad. They've just always been there, yeah. Um, just mostly my whole family, you know. They've always been there for me, ups and downs. So, yeah, I feel like that's the main one, yeah. And what about around the footy club, like <laughs> any of the coaches or even some um, of the boys, some of the older boys that have helped you, your development? Yeah, definitely Malachi, Mel, yeah. Mel Champion, yeah. Um, I look up to him, you know. He's he's a gun, obviously. He's a great great person off the field. Yeah. Um, can't go past my coach john too he's good blake you know yeah yeah um, I, well, I was gonna say about malachi because um it, you know he's been in a bit of a similar position as you with being a bottom major in the states i'm sure there'll be quite a lot of guidance from him and like you said good bloke off off the field um i've had the um experience to film with him as well so um that, that's good to have him um now we're going to our mental questions are there ever times you have experienced burnout and have felt a little bit overwhelmed with footy i know we did touch on it a bit earlier with school and the balancing and everything um but if you have dealt with burnout how have you sort of dealt with it really just just taking my own time to myself maybe just playing a game for a bit you know just calm myself down you know thinking about why i'm doing it why i'm like playing for it for my family you know stuff like that. yeah mm. is there is there like anything you like to do like um you know any other activities you like to do take your mind off footy like i know a lot of boys yeah. like playing golf maybe or yeah i heard about that yeah anything like that i'm <laughs> not a golf boy but um just probably just on the game and you know i know some coaches don't like that but you yeah. just can't go past it yeah, yeah. of course mate no nah, it's good fun you know some of the coaches don't understand but if it takes your mind off of it then yeah. why not it's good a couple of hours it's fine yeah it's fine yeah. so it's not, not gonna hurt <laughs> what, what games do you like playing oh call of duty warzone yeah. at the moment it's good one it's the yeah. best right now <laughs> um and just the last one we have for you is what motivates you to keep going in footy when things get a little bit overwhelming what is it that helps push you that extra limit and i know you said you're doing it for your family earlier is that really the main reason for you 100 percent. yeah just um looking on my wall just seeing all the family members that i've lost on the way here just really doing it for them and my mom you know i've always wanted to I told my pop every time, like, first paycheck, I'm buying you a new car, you know. You know, just I just want to help them out, you know. They want to give back. Yeah. That's great, man. I like that. Um, Well, you guys do have East Perth tomorrow. You reckon you could get the win over them? They're they're a good side. I know a couple of boys. One of my mates would probably be guarding me, so. But, (laughs) yeah, they're a good side. I reckon if we just stick to our game plan, hold good structure, I feel like we can, you know, come out on top. For sure, man. Well, thank you for taking the time. Really do Good appreciate you. it. Um, we wish you the best for you, the rest of your footy journey um, going on to next year and years to come. Um, big things coming, I'm sure. Thank you for taking the time once again. No worries. Thank you, mate. And everyone listening, just a quick reminder that this will be on Spotify, YouTube, and all podcast platforms. Follow us on the socials. And just a quick shout out to our sponsor for this episode, Elite Motion Strength and Conditioning. Uh, big thank you to the guys over there. If you're an athlete or if you're just someone that want to improve your performance, go and check them out. Link will be down below for them. And yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Athlete's Mind. Thank you. Come down with a fire. Being rich, getting done for a while. All these pussy be jacking my style. All these pussy be at my style. Line, I hit me up. Yeah. It depends where you run.